It's Friday, May 26th, and I've just finished getting the room ready for summer 2023. I'm gonna finish this video downstairs though because they've been working on the roof all day. It's very loud in here. Ah, it is much better, so much quieter. You have received, along with the email that this video is attached to, a copy of our welcome letter. And if you would read through that, that would be fantastic. I'm just gonna kind of cover some of the high points. This summer, we are gonna start off on the right foot. There is a little station outside the door that's just gonna go over some different procedures and expectations and how we do things in the room. And what I would like you to do is every day when your child arrives, please read through that with them. Um, you'll see there's a calendar above that will talk about what we're gonna do throughout the summer. It's also the time to drop off your water bottle. More about that in a minute. So let's talk about how the day begins. If your child is arriving before seven, you've let us know ahead of time and they'll be with Miss Mrs. Alexis. If you wouldn't mind walking them down first to hang up their things and then you can also read through the days starting off on the right foot page. If your child is coming after seven, I'll be in the classroom then. If your child needs breakfast, I really need you to have them here by 7.30. This past year, we kind of got our cart back to the kitchen so very, very late. So if they're coming after 7.30, we will have assumed that they have already eaten. So thank you very much for helping us help Miss Kino with her job. Things to wear. It's going to be a hot summer, so of course t-shirts, tank tops, that'll stay on. Shorts, if girls are wearing skirts, they need to have shorts underneath for modesty's sake. And regarding footwear, please make sure your child has shoes with a strap around the heel. Sandals are okay, Crocs are okay because they do have a strap, but really, tennis shoes are your best bet. Mulch won't get inside their shoe, they won't stub their toes. So please read what it says regarding footwear. Um, it can get a little chilly in our room, so if they want to just keep a sweatshirt hanging in their cubby, that would be fantastic. Speaking of cubbies, each child has their own cubby, and we will provide them with all of their art supplies. If you're coming from Ms. Pomeranke's room, you already have that canvas bag that we'll need. If you don't have the bag yet, we will provide one. Please make sure every day that your child brings their water bottle and takes it home along with anything that they have made of paper. This is different if you're coming from Ms. Pomeranke's room. You're used to leaving the bottles here and we wash them. My class is different. We are responsible for our water bottles. They go home each night to be washed. Regarding what you can bring, I am a total downer. They don't need to bring anything except their water bottle, their nap things, and a smile. Please leave all extra toys at home. Please leave the jewelry at home. A chapstick is okay, but not makeup, not lip gloss. Um, any extra food, like if you've eaten something in the car, please make sure you finish that up ahead of time. Now regarding nap items. The cots in my classroom stack really, really closely together. And so it's very important that when the nap bag is filled, it is thin. Over the year, things get bigger and bigger. A stuffed animal for nap time is okay to bring. It'll stay here throughout the week, but it needs to be small. Like if you think what a beanie baby size is, nothing bigger, something small, please. That will help us out greatly. One thing we work on all summer long are those social and emotional behavior skills. We learn how to get along as a group. We practice being kind. We practice being respectful. Our classroom rules are really pretty simple. We use nice words. We use nice hands. We listen to the teachers and we are responsible for the things in the room. Those little starting off on the right foot pages that'll be out by the door might give you an insight on how we do things here at school. And hopefully they align very well with how you are practicing good manners and kindness at home. Let's talk just a little bit about the schedule. We eat at 7.30, we're done by 7.50, we have some free play, and then at 8.30, we're gonna have our morning meeting. 8.30 is a time your child really should be here so we can begin the day and know what's happening. It's also the time that if they're not there, we won't be able to order them a lunch unless you've told us they are going to be late. We do have fun days planned, so I hope your child will be here in time to partake in the day. All right, that is all I have for right now. Please email me if you have any questions, and I really look forward to seeing everybody on Tuesday. Have a great weekend.